to blend. When we're trying to do show grooming, we try to make a big effort to make an arch and all that, but this is more just for practical everyday grooming. She's got kind of fluffy legs now that she's older, um, so I'm going to take a little bit more of that off with the thinning shears. So really that's about all you want to do. If you want to get really fancy, you can take your scissors and really work and go in between, um, like up in between the toenails. You can cut around the toenails. I don't actually like the way their feet look with every toenail showing, so I'll do a little bit kind of under the toenails, but then I tend to not cut the hair off any shorter than would make the toes show, toenails show. So I tend to just go around the outer edge of the toenails. Now part of that is dependent on having nice short toenails. If their toenails are humongously long, you're going to have to cut off back past them. But if you keep up with your toenails and they're short, you can just go along the outer part of the foot. I dremel all of my dog's toenails, so um, hers are quite short from the dremel. I do the dremeling after their bath while the toenails are kind of soft from the water. So you can see I'm just going a little bit up to the base, kind of the little tip of the toenail here. Anything sticking out between the pads I cut off, you can set her down on the table and go around the outer edge just to make a nice round foot. I go up behind the pad, this big pad here. I just go straight up. I'm going basically as short as I can get it. I mean, I'm not, you know, laying the scissors right up against her skin or anything, but pretty close to it. But only about half an inch, three quarters of an inch, so that when you see her foot from the side, you can see a definite back to it. Then I'm taking all her long hair, pulling it out, and then just cutting straight off across anything that sticks out like that, so that otherwise their leg feathering gets ridiculous to where it's, you know, dragging on the ground, you don't want that. If you like a little more off, just take your scissors when you're done and the dog is standing, and you can cut more of an angle behind here. This is pretty practical for everyday wear, since they tend to bring the whole backyard in. So you can do that. If it looks too um, sharp to you, like if you've made a really obvious line, take your thinning shears and blend. Just cut the same line but with the thinning shears. Come here, Google. That'll give you a softer look. Thinning shears are definitely your friend for fixing things. Same thing here if I just say wanted to take this up a little more so she didn't have so much feathering. I would just cut an angle behind the foot and take my thinning shears, and I'm just sort of holding the hair so it doesn't all go everywhere. And I would just soften that up like that. And that's really all there is to feet. Um, the back ones, you just do the same thing. You brush up all the hair between the toes, make sure you get out any little toe mats. Toe mats are bad. She's got a little in there. I'm just going to use my thinning shears to chop it a few times, and then take my brush and brush it out. If you're showing the dog, you have to be kind of careful not to be doing too much of this because you'll make their feet look too flattened out. They actually are supposed to have feathering between their toes if they're being shown. But for a dog you're not showing, you can just pretty much get rid of all that stuff. And I'm going to go around the top part of her foot, cutting everything down fairly flat. She made hers aren't all that long. If you haven't done them in a while, you'll have a lot of hair sticking out. Just cut it pretty much flush with the foot, and then I'm going to go around the outer part, or you can set it down on the table, kind of fluff it up, and cut off anything that's sticking out around the outer edges like that. Now on their hocks, you're going to brush it up so it's all as fluffy as it can be. And then if you want to, you can brush it all to one side like that, and then kind of just make it be a straight line and cut straight down. I don't really ever worry that much about doing that. Here, I think I'll actually turn my table a little bit, if we can do it without capsizing her. So, I tend to just do my hawks by brushing it all up and then looking at it from the back and just trimming off down each side like this, all the way down into the pad and then brush it down flat 
and cut off anything that's sticking out below the level of that pad right there. And then fluff it back up again. I'll usually take my thinning shears and I'll just kind of hold all the hair between my fingers. Good girl. Turn that way now. I know, I keep making you turn different ways. And I'll just sort of soften the look a little bit. Since she's older and spayed and growing all this fluffy hair now, I'll take my thinning shears and I'll go all along this outer part of her hind foot, hind leg, and just trim off all those little fuzzies. <laughs> so those silly little fuzzies they grow. Take all that off so that it looks cleaner. So your basic overall goal is just to neaten it up. And you can pretty much do it as short or as long as you like it. Some people like that hair a lot longer, and some people like it really, really short. All right, let's see if we can do this. Other one, still sort of on film here. So you fluff up the foot. Take your shears. Cut off any fuzzies. There's a lot of different ways. You can either just let the foot sit on the table. You can pick the foot up in your hand. You're going to go all the way around the edges of the foot. Just hold the scissors however feels comfortable for you to be able to get that hair off. Just keep fluffing it a couple of times. It's a good idea to make sure you get it off. You can take your thinning shears. You can go a little faster that way as far as you don't have to worry about making a mistake, but it takes a little bit more effort to get it all off. And then on the hawks, I just brush it up. Trim off the excess on either side. Brush it down. Trim off anything that's sticking out below the hog. Take my thinning shears and just sort of soften the line. Your goal is to just make it all look very natural. I'll take my thinning shears and do all these little fluffy fuzzies. Now, this is the time where, um, oh, I forgot <laughs> on the tail. Hopefully this is on camera. You do want to take your thinning shears if you've got a little extra sticking out on the tail. If you remember, we already shaved it, but you could easily have some hair sticking out still. So all you do, to make sure this is on camera, Come here, girl, girl, is um, you brush the tail hair all to one side, and you'll have some sticking out. And you'll just trim that off. And then brush it to the other side. Trim off anything that's sticking out past the side of the tail. Same thing with the very tip of the tail. That's the only place I will use my straight scissors on a tail. You can cut the very tip with your straight scissors to get it off quickly. And then take your thinning shears to soften up that line a little bit. Now, if you want to trim up some of this feathering, it's perfectly understandable, um, on something like her, or I'm not showing her, I'll just take my straight scissors and I'll just kind of go along and basically take off all the little split ends <laughs> just to try to neaten it up a little bit. I like her to have her feathering, so I don't want to cut off too much of it, but I'll kind of brush it all so it hangs in like that. And then I'll trim a little off along there. And also, you can do, come on, Nero. Come on. Um, I'm going to turn her sideways again. When the dog is standing like this, all this hair along um, the underside of their hind leg, you can take your scissors and trim that to make a nice um, rounded edge. Good girl. If it's been a little while since groomings, they can get pretty long here. Um, and you can just round that off. You want it to follow the natural curve of the leg and just sort of soften it up. Same with all the side coat. I like it long. If you don't, just take your straight scissors and just cut along there. You can either just do it straight or you can put a slight angle. Um, I'll sometimes do just these little tiny tips like that just to make it look as smooth as possible. 
otherwise it gets kind of fly away. But I pretty much like as much hair as possible, so, and I'm not going to put a big amount of effort into show grooming her when she's not being shown. Okay, so that's pretty much that. You can just go over them with your thinning shears and find any little edges, little bits and pieces you might have missed, and um, blend any areas, like, you know, you might have an area here or there that you need to blend. That is pretty much it. Um, thank you, Ariel. You've been very helpful. And um, we'll see you next time.